Good day, ladies and gentlemen, once again. This is another recording. It's focusing on markup percentage. Um, yeah, cost price markup percentage. Both when markup percentage is on cost price and when markup percentage is on selling price. It is extracted uh, from page 120 of the practical accounting textbook that I am currently using. And we are given a table in here where we deal with the marker percentage. We have a cost price, we have profit, and we have a selling price. And this uh, table is without VAT. That means VAT is not taken into account. But in the next recording, uh, from the same page, I have uh, extracted um, another exercise uh, that is with a VAT and where VAT is 15%. And we also do have a markup percentage also on this one. So also be on the lookout uh, for the next, next uh, question for your full understanding of markup percentage or inventory topic, in other words, that is markup and VAT. Now we are provided with the table, we have number one, number two, number three, we have a markup percentage and it's different markup percentages. Another one is 50% on the selling price, another one is 25% on the cost price. The third one I don't necessarily have to do. Only the two are necessary, but I will explain why the third one is not necessary. But you can just use the third one for your practice because I will cover everything of the cost price in this line. This is also a marker percentage where the marker percentage is at cost, is at cost price. And, and, and remember that you also need to be able to calculate the marker percentage when the marker percentage is not given. I'll also touch base on uh, that aspect also. So I'll also bring some question marks on the marker percentage and some question marks on the marker percentage. Then uh, we also have the cost price and we have the profit and the selling price as I have indicated. Uh, also note uh, uh, the fact that the cost price now will not be uh, at hundred percent. It will only be at hundred percent where the cost price is, uh, where the marker percentage is on cost price. Now we are therefore required to calculate the unknown or question marks in each of the following cases, where we have a cost price is missing, b uh, profit is missing. C, uh, cost price, and D is the selling price. Uh, then your number three, we have the profit and the selling price that are missing. And, and sometimes it can happen that you will be unable to start calculating the cost price, which is number A. You might be uh, able first to calculate uh, the amount of the profit before you calculate the cost price. That is not a transmesh. Then after you can count the cost price. You don't necessarily have to calculate in the order of the numbers that are in the question marks or alphabets that are in the question marks. Now let us calculate what is missing. We have a marker percentage of 50% and it is on selling price. The minute a marker percentage is on selling price, cost price will be equal to 100% minus a given percentage minus a given percentage that means if markup is on selling price let me write this one down if mp percentage is on selling price that means your cost price is equal to a uh, hundred percent minus um, mp percentage a uh, marker percentage. What does that mean? That means your cost price in this case will be 100 minus some what is our marker percentage. Our marker percentage is 50. That means our cost price will be 50%. At the same time, we can apply the same rule. If 
markup percentage is on selling price. Uh, this was alternative number one. Then you go to alternative number two. Selling price, remember the first one was on cost price. Selling price is equal to 100%. So these are the two very important scenarios that you need to grab as we continue. I'll be repeating uh, the same thing throughout in the calculations. So in this case, we have a markup percentage that is 50% on selling price. That means our cost price uh, in terms of percentage in this scenario will be 50%. Remember, 50% is not the answer we are looking for, but it's a percentage that will help us in the calculation of uh, the cost price. We have unknown cost price. We have unknown in terms of the profit and we have the selling price amount. Then let me also bring another part your profit is uh, uh, your profit is equal to mark selling price times the markup. Let me add another scenario, uh, which says if markup percentage uh, is on selling price, that means profit. Uh, this is scenario number three. Profit is. Uh, scenario number three, profit is equal to selling price times by MP percentage. Profit is equal to selling price times by MP percentage, which is marker percentage in our case. And I'll also try to do the same thing when we deal with the cost price. So now we do have the selling price, then we can calculate the profit because we know that profit is selling price times by marker percentage. Why are we multiplying with the profit is because this marker percentage is on selling price. So your profit will be calculated from the selling price amount. So now that means we can calculate our profit by saying 15,000 runs times by 0 0.5, which is 50%, or you can say times by 50 over 100. That is a very, very, very long way. 7,500 is our selling price. Now we need to calculate our cost price. We need to calculate our cost price. We know that uh, when a marker percentage is on selling price, cost price is 100 minus marker percentage. And we know that in this scenario number one, uh, the cost price uh, is equal to 50%. In this case, the cost price is equal to 50%. And, uh, 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 and we also know that our profit is equal to uh, 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 and also 50%. So now what are we looking for? We are looking for the cost price in this case. So let us calculate our cost price. We are calculating our cost price uh, uh, from the amounts that we already have. Remember in this case, our selling price is 100%. I've emphasized that. If the marker percentage is on selling price, uh, then selling price is equal to 100%. So the 15,000 is 100%. So now we are calculating our cost price. Where do we begin? Uh, we say 15,000 runs uh, times by what we are looking for. What are we looking for? We are looking for a cost price that is 50%. So we say times by 50, we divide by the percentage of the 15,000 and the 15,000 is the selling price and the selling price is 100% because the marker percentage is on selling price. So we divide by 100. Therefore now, uh, this is going to give us the amount of the cost price. This is going to give us the amount of the cost price. Then our cost price is sitting at 7,500 rands. Our cost price is sitting at 7,500 rands. Now, let me just try to recap and do it the other way around. Assume that we, 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 we don't have the 15,000 and we don't have the profit. And now we are calculating forward, meaning we only have uh, the marker percentage, 50% on selling price, and we have the cost price, which is uh, uh, 7,500. Can we get to the 7.5 of the of the profit, and also can we get to selling price of 15,000? The answer is yes. How do we do that? Remember, we will be moving from here to here. We'll be moving from here to to the selling price. 
Then now, how do we move uh, from the cost price to the selling price? We say 7,500 uh, uh, tons by what we are looking for. What are we looking for? We are looking for a selling price that is 100. So it turns by 100. We divide by the cost price. The cost price percentage is 50. So we divide by 50. It gives us how much? 15,000 rands. So it doesn't matter which way or which an amount is missing. You can still calculate your numbers. <clears throat> then remember, profit is not calculated on the cost price when a marker percentage is on selling price. That is why I'm moving from year to year. Then for me to calculate the profit, then I'm moving from the selling price now to calculate the profit because profit is a selling price times by a markup percentage whenever a markup percentage is on selling price. So I can't calculate profit from the cost price when the markup percentage is on selling price. But I can calculate my profit uh, from the selling price when the markup percentage is on selling price. That's why now when I have the cost price, then I jump straight to the selling price, then move back to the cost price, which we did the 7,500, which was 15,000 times by 50%. It gave us 7,500. Uh, sorry for the repetition. Now we, I think, can go to, uh, to number, number, number two. Let me just check. Yes, number two, I just wanted to repeat the same thing. Um, or let me do the same thing um, in, 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 in this scenario. I think I did it before. If there was a question mark here and we're only given 7,500, I think we highlighted that. We'll say times by 100. We are looking for 100. Divide by uh, 50. That will still give you the same 15,000. Just make sure that you are able to work around your numbers. You remove another one, you have one unknown. Uh, but make sure that with the information you have, you can calculate the unknown. Now, the second scenario, we have 25% uh, of the markup percentage. And the markup percentage is on cost price. Is on cost price. That means our profit is calculated on cost price. Why? Because the markup percentage is on cost price. Uh, please be mindful of all this. So now that means in this case, our cost price uh, only under scenario number two. Our cost price under scenario number two in this case is 100% now. Then our, our, our profit still remains a market percentage is 25% of the cost price. 25% of the cost price. Previously, it was 50% of the selling price. It was 50% of the selling price. Now our, our profit is 25% of the cost price. Why? Because market percentage is on cost price. Cost goes with the cost, selling price goes with the selling price. Then we have missing uh, 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 amount under cost price and we have missing amount under selling price. Therefore now what can we do? Uh, we need to then calculate um, our calculate our cost price. How can we calculate our cost price? Uh, we can then say our cost price is equal to how much do we have? We are given six thousand. There must be a rent amount that uh, you must be working from. Uh, uh, we multiply this by what we are looking for. What are we looking for? We are looking for cost price. And cost price percentage is 100. So we multiply by the percentage of what we are looking for. And we divide by the percentage of what we have, which is 25. But not say 25 over 100, just 25 as a number. But we know that is a percentage. And that is the 25% uh, column of the markup of the profit uh, amount. So now let us see uh, what uh, do we get as our cost price. So we have 6,000 of the profit uh, divided by 25 times by 100. Uh, this gives us 24,000 rands. 24,000 rands is our cost price. So now let us put 24,000 rands here as our cost price. Now let us check if this 24,000 is really correct. Uh, just rewrite it, 24,000 rands. Now, if we did not have the profit, let us say this was a question mark. We have 
the cost price and the market percentage. How are we going to calculate our profit? We were going to say profit is equal to cost price of 24,000 times by marker percentage. Marker percentage is 25%, 0 0.25. Remember, this is the cost price we multiply by the MP to get to the profit. Why? Because the marker percentage is on cost price. So our profit will be calculated from the cost price. Then 24,000 times by 0.25 is still give us the same 6,000 that we saw in there. So we can see that uh, we can do our verification uh, of the numbers that we have. So we do have now our cost price. Our cost price is verified to be 24,000 rands. Then how do we get to the selling price? Selling price is obviously going to be 30,000 rands. It will be cost price plus market percentage is equal to our selling price when uh, uh, um, the market percentage is on is on cost price. Uh, or else uh, we could have just said 24,000 that we have calculated uh, times by 1.25 uh, times by 1.25 that will be um, uh, 24,000 24,000 times by 1.25. That will give us 30,000 rands. We have added 25% uh, 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 to 100. So that means in this case, our selling price is out of 125%. It's out of 125%. This is out of 125%. Only under scenario number two, I want to clarify this because we have different uh, marker percentages and also have different uh, uh, bases to which our marker percentage are based on. So this uh, uh, this is our 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 scenario. At the same time, we could be having maybe if this was not here and this was not here, and we have thirty thousand rands there as the only amount we have selling price. And we know that marker percentage assume that this was given and this was given. And we have a question mark and we have a question mark. How would we have dealt with this one? That will be easy. We'll first look for uh, the profit. Um, then we will say our profit is equal to 30,000 runs. 30,000 runs times by uh, we know that our profit is 25% times by 25 divided by 125. Let us see if do we get the same amount, 30,000 times by 25 divided by 125. It gives us the same 6,000 rands. We multiply by what we are looking for. Remember, the profit percentage is 25%, so hence we multiply by 25. And the percentage of the selling price, which is 30,000, is 125 because it was a cost price of 100% plus 25 percent of the markup. So this amount gave us 125 percent percentage wise. So that's why we multiply by what we are looking for and we divide by what we have. So that's why I said uh, I don't think there will be a need for me to do number uh, three because in number three is exactly the scenario that I dealt with. Uh, please use number three for your own practice. Where now is the same as when we're given 24,000 in here that we calculated. When I said we have 24,000 runs. When I said we have 24,000 runs in here. Then after assuming that we had a question mark. So it's the same thing. Why? Because the markup percentage is on cost price under number three. So you can work that one around. We know that in here it will be 5,000 times by 0 0.4. That will be your profit amount in here. Then your selling price will be 5,000 uh, plus the profit is equal to the amount of the selling price. Or else your selling price can be cost price uh, is equal to uh, 5,000 rands times by 1.40 that will give you the amount of the selling price. Uh, please do calculate the numbers in there, uh, then after we take it from there. With those, uh, thank you very much. 
I will record this one separately uh, because it has VAT so that if you want to watch the one that has no VAT, you watch it separately from the one that has VAT. And I hope this will make uh, things uh, easier for your understanding and the fact that they are at least bright colors now. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe in my channel and also like um, my videos if you do like them. Thanks very much.